Hallelujah. This is Andrew Shreve, and I'd like to uh, share with you some scriptures this uh, this day about abundance and about having a, an overflowing fullness of provision in our life. So first of all, let us just pray and ask God's blessing upon this time. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we pray for your anointing upon us now, that as we open your word, that you'd give us revelation and understanding, so that we can all uh, come into abundance, pros financial abundance and prosperity in our lives. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Praise God. I'd like you to go in your Bible, if you would, to Proverbs chapter 3, and we want to read from verse 9 and 10. And it says, Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thy increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful uh, passage of Scripture. Because, you know, a lot of people are uh, trusting God, but they always seem to be like broke, you know, always seem to be like waiting for the last second for something to be provided, you know. But this scripture here has a different picture, a different story. It says that your barns will be filled with plenty. Well, what, what, are your, what are our barns? Our barns are our storehouses, like our bank accounts, our cupboard, our fridge, our wardrobe, uh, the place that we store things. So it says here, so shall thy barns be filled with plenty. So this is not a picture of a bank account running to zero and believing believing God for you know a hundred dollars to, to pay to, or two or three hundred dollars to buy your groceries this week. No, this is a picture of abundance, of plenty of money in the bank, of blessing. And so we want to look at the, uh, verse nine and, and, and it says, how do we come to this position where we where we have an abundance, where we're not living from moment to moment in not sure where the money is going to come from, etc. Verse 9 says, Honor the Lord with thy substance. Honor the Lord with thy substance. Honor the Lord. Well, how do we honor the Lord with our substance? Well, the word honor actually means to give weight. So if you were to honor the Lord with your, with your money, you would take the weight of your money and give it to God. So in other words, you would transfer part of your wealth to the Lord. Well, how do we honor the Lord? Well, the Lord has represents himself on the earth through the church, through the ministers that uh, he has gifted in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. It says, I'll read it to you. These are the ministers that God has gifted uh, to bring his word to the world, to, to the church as well. It says, He gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. So God has his representatives on the earth and these representatives are apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers. And these are the people that are publishing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and they are working with the organization of the local church. Hallelujah. So to honor the Lord would be to sustain and give wealth to those people whom God has called to minister His word, to, to bring His food, His spiritual food to the people. So honor the Lord with your substance would mean to give wealth to God's people who are feeding you spiritually. It says bring bring the in Malachi chapter three we give we see the illustration of the storehouse. Malachi chapter three it says bring you all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. And so God's house today is the place that you receive spiritual food, which is generally the local church, but there are also other places that provide the like uh, the other ministries, apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist. There's various ministries that are not operating just in your little local community, but are global ministries, etc. 
that are providing spiritual food for people. And so it says, honor the Lord with your substance. Substance means your physical goods. And so these people that are operating for God and working for God, you honor God by giving physical substance to these organizations. And with the first fruits of all your increase. So we shouldn't just give the leftovers. You know, sometimes you go to church and you see people, you know, they bring an offering and you see them just getting a few coins out of the bottom of their bag and throwing it in the bucket. I mean, that's, that's, that's not honoring God with the first fruits of all your increase. You know, to honor God with the first fruits is to, is to when, you, when you first get that paycheck or when you first get that increase, you take the best of it and you, you separate it unto the Lord. You say, God... I'm going to sow this seed, this money. I'm going to sow this seed into the ministry. I'm going to sow this seed. Where that, so those people that are publishing your gospel and preaching your gospel, they can expand and grow and be strong and powerful on the earth. I want your interest to be powerful on the earth. That's honoring God with your substance and with the first fruits of all your increase. And then we see the promise in chapter th Proverbs 3 verse 10. So shall thy bars be filled with plenty. Hallelujah. That's a wonderful promise, isn't it? So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. New wine. I like that, that, that term, new wine, because that speaks to me of new business, new customers, new opportunities, new employment new ideas hallelujah so when you sow seed into god's kingdom when you give into the work of the lord you're opening up for yourself the promises of expansion of increase of having your barns filled with plenty having your bank accounts filled with this your bank accounts your barn believe god for your barn to be filled with plenty so when you bring your offering to the man of God, when you bring your offering to the, the, the organization that's publishing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, you bring that offering. You say, Lord, here, I'm transferring the weight of my wealth to you. I'm doing what your word says. I'm honoring you, Lord, with my substance. I'm bringing you the first fruits. I'm bringing you the best. Hallelujah. I'm giving it now. I sow this seed. You pray over your seed. Say, oh Lord, I sow this seed right now in the name of Jesus Christ for the expansion of your kingdom for, so the word of the Lord can go forth so people can be blessed so that your church can grow so that, so that your, your, your people, are your, your servants are, are fully funded so they can do the work that you've called them to do. And Lord, I fully now, as I sow this seed, I claim your word which says my barns are filled with plenty so i thank you lord that my my storehouses are filled with plenty my bank accounts are filled with plenty thank you lord so i receive that i receive it i receive my bank accounts filled with plenty i receive it in the name of jesus honor you with my substance with the first fruits of all my so shall my barns be filled with plenty my barns say my barns are filled with plenty my bar my bank accounts are filled with plenty i have plenty of money in my bank account hallelujah praise god i have plenty of money in my bank account I have plenty of money in my bank account. And my presses are burst out with new wine. I have new business. New opportunities. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Hallelujah. You need to speak these words out. You know, life and death's in the power of the tongue. You need to speak forth the word of God over your finances. Over everything you have. So I just wanted to share that with you today. This beautiful uh, scripture here in Proverbs 3. So you can be financially blessed. God wants you to be financially blessed. He delights in your prosperity. But you need to do something. You need to plant seed. You need to sow your finances. Hallelujah. Uh, go to my website, uh, www.andrewshreve.org. A-N-D, it's spelled A-N-D-R-E-W-S-H-R-E-V-E dot O-R-G. And there you can receive more teaching and be blessed as you continue in your journey in God. Father, bless these people this day. Let your anointing be upon them. Let your love be upon them. Lord, so they can receive everything you have for them. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. I love you. Be blessed.